students let us continue with the topic uh, switching uh, technologies so in the previous video i just explained about the circuit switching so the most commonly used switching technologies nowadays are the packet switching and the circuit switching so in the previous video i just given an overview of this what is a circuit switching now let us see the packet switching so even though there is a circuit sw switching why we are shift to the packet switching because of some problems that are facing in the circuit switching, uh, we uh, change it to the, uh, the technology is changing to the packet switching. So what are the problems that are raised in the circuit switching? Let us see first that problems of circuit switching. So what are the problems that are there in circuit switching? Now let us see. First, it is only designed for the voice service. Even though the data is transferred, but not that much of efficient. Uh, the circuit sw uh, switching is mostly used in the public telephone networking because in the public telephone networking, the most important thing is voice communication. So only for that reason, they are introduced a circuit switching. So it is designed for voice services. And the resource dedicated to a particular uh, call. So here if you want to transfer the data, uh, data means whatever the resource, uh, whether it is a voice or the uh, data. So the resource is dedicated to only particular call. If one person is calling to another person means uh, a, a dedicated one to one communication will be there. there. So that is one problem. Resources. Resources dedicated dedicated to particular call and next for data transfer much of the time the connection is ideal so while the data transfer it has to be maintained ideal because it is only designed for the voice services so that is one of the problem for data transform transmission Much of time, the connection is ideal. And here uh, in circuit switching, the data rate is always fixed. It means at a time, the data will be transferred. Data rate is fixed. Whether it is a short or the long message, whatever it may be, at a time, the information will be passed. Information will be passed from host 1 to host 2 okay so the data rate is fixed so the packet switching is designed to uh, address all these problems all these problems will be addressed in the packet switching now coming to let us see the packet switching techniques what are the packet switching techniques So, ST, first, what are the techniques that it follows to transfer the data from source to the destination? First, a station breaks long messages into packets. A station breaks long message into packets. And next, so whatever the break, uh, that message is broken down into packets, these packets are sent out to the network sequentially one after the other. One by one the packets are sending. First break the message into small packets and each packet are sent out to the network sequentially. So this you have to be remember that sequentially they are uh, sending the packets one after the other. One at a time one at a time one uh, so one message the one packet can be sent at a time and next the network handles this stream of packets to deliver a destination so packets are deliver at destination so whatever the uh, broken messages that long messages in packet those messages will be deliver at the destination so to uh, a network handle this stream of packets to deliver a destination it follows two approaches those two approaches are the whether it fo uh, follow the datagram approach or it form the 
virtual circuit approach virtual circuit approach so to transfer the uh, deliver the packets from source to the destination it follows uh, either it can uh, transfer in the form of datagram or in virtual circuit so that is a packet switching so it's simply whatever the message it is a long message that message will be broken into small packets and each packets will be transferred one after the other means one at a time sequentially to reach the destination so while at the desk this is a source and this is a destination so at the destination also it takes whatever the order the packets are coming the destination has to be the whole destination host has to take care about to make all the packets in sequential suppose this is one two three four five packets so like that it trans suppose two is going one is going three is going like that but at a destination uh, site it has to be accepted in the form of sequential so whatever the source sending the destination will receive the same message so in between uh, it can travels in different path the packets or travels in different path so while uh, to travel the uh, packets from source to destination it can follow the datagram approach or virtual approach so this is the ba uh, packet switching technique now let us see the basic operation that this packet switching is follows what is the basic operation the basic operation here is the data are transmitted in a short packet so that i already exp explained that data or transmitted in short packets okay so actually these packets are uh, in the order of suppose 1000 bytes so that larger message is split into series of packets large message will be uh, so suppose this is a large message will be divided into series of packets so each packet contains user data and control information so this is a message whatever i said so this message will be divided into packets so each packet is having con user data and this is a user data and here the control information so let me here this is the control information along with user data the control information is nothing but at least the routing address where it has to go this packet has to reach the destination that destination address will be stored in the control information and the user data will be the rest of the path so this long message is divided into series of packets and each packet contains the let me write that longer message splits into series of packets so first it splits into series of packets so after that each packet contains user data plus control information so this control information contains routing address control information contains routing address so that is the basic cooperation so after transferring the data the store and forward on each switching node packets are received stored briefly buffered and passed on to the next node so this is a basic cooperation of the packet switching so let me explain just uh, use of packets so let us take this is a one computer and this is another one so in between that you are having the packet switching means you are connected these two systems by using the packet switching network these are connected so here i am transmitting one application data so this is an application data so whatever the data that the source is sent this is a source and this is the destination whatever the application data that source is sending at the receiver side the destination has to receive the same message application data so this is a long message so now the packet switching will divide this application data into packets a series of 
packets. So each packet contains control information and uh, user data. User data. So each packet contains the control information as well as the user data. So it passes to the packet switching with the help of this control information and reaches the destination. So at the destination side also it receives in the form of packets. So each packet contains the control information and the user data. So this is the use of packets. Now let us see I said this packet switching can be done by using the datagrams or the virtual circuits. Now let us see what is this datagram. Let me explain with only this datagram example. So, it why, how it is uh, uh, following the datagram approach. So, in datagram approach, each packet is treated independent with no reference to packets that have gone before. So, it doesn't bother about whatever the, that is the packet that has gone before. So, packets can take any possible rates. It can take any possible rates. And the packets may arrive at receiver out of order and may go missing. Sometimes whatever the source is sending, the destination may uh, arrive at, the packets may arrive at the receiver side, may be out of order. It may be received in out of order or some packets may missing. There is a chance. Okay. So it is up to the receiver. So that this is the it is up to the receiver to reorder the packets and recover from missing packets. So the receiver has to receiver has to reorder the packets and recover from missing packets. So the source is simply sending the packets. The message is split into packets and those packets will be sending from source to destination means from sender to the receiver so the receiver has to play a role what role he has to play it has it has to take the packets whatever the source is sending that has to be arranged in a particular order and it has to recover the missing packets also so the main example for this datagram is nowadays we are using the internet the internet that it for uh, we are receiving we are using the internet so this internet will be connected in the form of packet switchings and here uh, the packets are from, uh, passing from source to the destination. So let me just simply explain this datagram uh, how the message is passing. Uh, let us take here these are the systems source. I am just taking a so, uh, single system. This is a source and let us take here this is a destination. A destination may be anything it is a server or it may be a home computer anything so now a message has to pass from source to the receiver so here a switching technology will be there these are the switchings okay so these are let us take these are the switchings First, I am just uh, connecting the, these are the, all the uh, intermediate switches. So, first uh, I am just writing, drawing the switching network. Later that we will see how the message will be transferred from. So let us take only two or four. It becomes long. Okay. So these are the switching connections. Now the packet is transferring. So this is a, a message. A message consisting of three packets. So these three packets has to receive the destination. So this is a datagram. A data term. So first it is passing here the third node and here two and one. So in the next case the third will 
going to another switching by using another node and this will be splitting like this means each uh, packet will be uh, passing in different path in different path okay so the main at the side of the receiver has to uh, make sure that whatever the packets that are sending from a uh, source that should be rearranged by the receiver so like this the packets are passing so at the final it will receive the packets in the order of 3 2 1 so whatever the order in between it will take means uh, uh, packets are uh, passing in different different paths but at final stage all the packets will be come in the same uh, stage whatever this data uh, source is sending. So this is how the packets are passing uh, by using the datagram technique. Thank you.